Welcome back, everybody, to the GSMC Hoops and Heels Women's Sports Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Okay, so we just got done talking about predictions for the 2028 Olympic basketball team in the U.S., and now we're shifting gears to tennis. Before I begin, I wanted to remind you guys to like and follow the show and to become a part of our show to tip and donate using the link gsmcpodcast.net. Also, we do get a lot of questions and comments that come from viewers during the show, so to ensure that your questions and comments get read on the air, I ask that you use the link, gsncpodcast.net, to put your questions at the top of the list, and so you can have that, you know, interactive aspect of our channel, like always. And we really do appreciate your support, and it means a lot to us and the show. And of course, make sure you guys stay till the end of the show to hear about the beach volleyball players on the top teams in the olympics okay so now that we got that out of the way we are going to start talking about those who qualified in the olympics from several countries so we're going to talk about those that qualified to compete from the u.s ukraine and czech republic and there is a reason why i chose them to team those teams I, I promise it's not super random in the last four olympics competitors from these team have medaled so i felt like it made the most sense to start out with them don't worry, in the upcoming episodes, I will be talking about people from other teams as well. So, yeah. Anyway, before we begin, I did want to give a disclaimer. I'm so bad at pronouncing names, first and last names. It's just a terrible issue I have, and it's embarrassing. And I sincerely apologize ahead of time that I cannot pronounce names very well, um, especially these names from the Ukraine and Czech Republic. I am literally Czech, and I should be good at pronouncing some of these names but i am not and i sincerely apologize i also wrote out like ways like you know like wrote out the pronunciations but you know what that has shown to not (laughs) work for me very well sometimes as well okay so we're just gonna get into it so starting with the u.s let's talk about emma nararo Nararvo is an emerging talent in the world of professional tennis with a series of notable accomplishments and a rapidly increasing profile. As of 2024, she has reached a career-high singles ranking of number 17 in the world. Some of her key achievements include winning her first WTA title at the 2024 Hobart International and reaching the fourth round of the major tournament for the first time at the French Open, where she beat the 14th seed Madison Keys. This performance helped boost her ranking significantly. Emma's strengths lie in her aggressive play and solid baseline, complemented by an improving serve, which has she has been working on extensively. However, like many young players, she is still developing her game and learning to handle the pressures of competing at high levels, which could be considered a current area for growth. Looking ahead to the 2024 Olympics, while detailed predictions about her performance are pretty speculative in my case, her current form and trajectory suggests she could be a strong contender. Her recent performances against top players indicate that she is capable of challenging the best, which could serve her well on the Olympic stage, especially if she continues to improve and gain confidence from tour experiences. This is where it gets good. Coco Goff. Goff first gained major attention in the lower tennis world when she defeated Venus Williams in 2019 at Wimbledon at just 15 years old. Since then, her career has continued to absolutely ascend, marked by several impressive achievements. Goff's achievements include winning her first WTA singles titles at the Lens Open in 2019, making her the youngest singles title holder on the WTA Tour since 2004. In 2023, she won the US Open, her first Grand Slam singles title, which elevated her status and showcased her potential as one of the future leaders in women's tennis. By 2024 this year, she also secured a notable victory in the doubles category, the French Open. Ranked as high as number two in singles and number one in doubles by the WTA, Goff's strengths lie in her powerful baseline play and exceptional athleticism, which enable her to compete with top-tier talents. Despite her young age, she has demonstrated maturity and resilience on the court. However, like many young athletes, Goff continues to refine aspects of her game, including consistency and handling pressure in critical moments. Looking ahead to the Olympics, Goff's performance on the international stage, particularly her recent Grand Slam success, suggests she could be a strong contender, and I think that she definitely will be. Her rapid development and previous successes indicate she has the potential to excel, provided she maintains her form and manages the unique presence of an Olympic competition, but I have a lot of confidence in her. Jessica Paluga is a highly accomplished American professional tennis player who has reached impressive heights in her career. 
she has achieved a career-high singles ranking of number three in the world as of October 2022 and was ranked number one in doubles as of September 2023. Pegula has achieved, captured several WTA titles, including significant wins at events like the Guadalajara Open, where she defeated Maria Sakari in the final, marking a notable victory in her career. Pegula's game is characterized by her powerful shot-making ability, a string she proudly acknowledged, especially after a key victory against Arena Sabalenka at the WTA Finals. She's known for a solid baseline play and has a strategic approach to her matches, utilizing her flat, hard-hitting shots to challenge her opponents effectively. Despite some challenges with injuries, Pegula has maintained a consistent presence in the top ranks of the WTA, celebrating 100 consecutive weeks in the top 10 as of 2024. This milestone highlights her stability and resilience, maintaining high performance levels on the tour. She continues to be a formidable competitor on the WTA tour, known not only for her athletic prowess, but also for her strategic and powerful gameplay. Her career remains on a significant upward trajectory, showcasing her as a key player to watch in the upcoming Olympics. Danielle Collins. Danielle Collins' performance and achievements have set high expectations for her at the upcoming Olympics, giving her aggressive playing style and recent success at major tournaments, including her triumphs at the Miami Open and Charleston Open in 2024. She is likely to be a strong contender. Collins' ability to perform under pressure and her experience in handling top-tier competition will be crucial as she faces the unique challenges of Olympic competition. Her powerful ground strokes and aggressive baseline game, paired with her strategic court presence, make her a formidable opponent. If she maintains her current form and manages the physical demands of the Olympic schedule, Danielle Collins will, could, be, could very well find herself competing for a medal. The Olympics often bring out the best in athletes due to the high stakes and national pride involved, and Collins' tenacity and fighting spirit could see her excel on this grand stage. Madison Keys is a distinguished American professional tennis player known for her powerful game and fast serve. She first broke into the WTA Top 10 in October 2016, becoming the first American woman to achieve this milestone since Serena Williams, which highlighted her potential early on the career, on her career. Keys has made significant impacts in major tournaments. She reached the U.S. Open U.S. Open Finals in 2017 and has consistently performed well at Grand Slams with quarterfinal appearances across all four majors. Her ability to play well in all services is evidenced by her wins and deep runs on hard clay and grass courts. In 2024, she continued to show strong performances, including winning the title at the Strasbourg Tournament on red clay, which marked her first title on this surface. Madison's game is characterized by her aggressive baseline play, complemented by one of the strongest forehands in the women's circuit. This aggressive style has served her well throughout her career, allowing her to compete with and often overpower the top players in the world. As for the upcoming Olympics, given a proven track record in recent form, Madison Keys could be a strong contender, and I have a lot of confidence in her. Her powerful playing style and previous semifinal appearance at the 2016 Rio Olympics suggests she has the ability and experience to make a significant impact at the Olympic level. For Ukraine, we will be seeing Marta Kostiuk leading her nation on the Olympic debut. Kostiuk, who climbed to career high world number 16 this week, is set to be joined in the women's single draw at the games by world number 21 Elena Swetelina, number 27 Diana Yastramesca, and number 46 Ana Helena Kalinina. Kostiuk, who is a two-time Grand Slam semifinalist in doubles, which includes a run to last four alongside Elena. Elena Gabriela Ruz at Roland Garros earlier this month is also set to feature in the women's doubles events alongside Yastramiska. Sisters Nadia and Lyumaila Kachinknok, the world doubles number 17 and number 35 respectively, will take the second place available to Ukrainians in the women's double draw. At 29 years old, Swetelina provides the experience in the Ukrainian team, not to mention Olympic pedigree, having won a singles bronze medal for her nation at Tokyo 2020 after beating Elena Rokina in three sets. She also made a memorial Olympic debut at Rio 2016, stunning Serena Williams in the third round. Kalanina, meanwhile, may be set for her Olympic debut, but the... 27-year-old has some history in the event of this mold as a former youth Olympic medalist, having won doubles gold alongside Irina Shamanovich at in uh, 2014. For the Czech Republic, we will see Marketa Vondrasova. She has made significant impacts in the singles, most notably reaching the final of the French Open in 2019. She's known for her versatility 
and strong performances on clay. Also, Carolina Manchovo, who is known for her deep runs at major tournaments, including a semifinal appearance at the 2021 Australian Open. Her game is well-rounded with an effective, effective serve and strong net play. Barbara Krivyokova will be competing. She has excelled in both singles and doubles. She won the French Open in... I'm just realizing, I don't think I have her up here in the pictures, guys. I am so sorry. Oh, wait, no, I do. She's in the bottom right. Okay, I'm so sorry. I did not see that for a second. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Anyway, so she has excelled, like I said, both in the singles and doubles. She won the French Open singles title in 2021 and has multiple Grand Slam titles in doubles, often partnering with uh, Katarina Sinekova. As a rising star, Linda Nakova has shown promise in her early career, quickly making a name for herself with strong performances in both junior and professional circuits. Last season single, we will see Katarina Siniakova. She is primarily known for her double success and has been ranked world number one in doubles. She frequently partners with Barbara Krevjakova, and together they have won several Grand Slam doubles titles. So we're now going to move on to our next segment where we talk about Dana White's take on Ronda Rousey's downfall and Amanda Nunes' potential comeback in women's MMA. Before we get into all of that, we're going to be taking a very short break, so I will see you guys very soon. For the best and latest podcasts available anywhere, go to the podcast app on your cell phone and type in GSMC to access free content-rich podcasts on health and wellness, book reviews, sports, entertainment, relationships, social media, movies, technology, finance, and even weird news. Subscribe and download the GSMC Podcast Network's family of shows, available everywhere podcasts are found. 